We'll find out soon enough that the world itself is insane. Is insane. <laughs> Today's Newsweek kicks off with yet more Netflix faux pas. Man, I remember when Netflix was just into producing pretty cool high budget original content. Now they just seem hell bent on destroying whatever pop culture properties they can get their grubby little subscription greedy hands on. The latest IP in their crosshairs, beloved anime Cowboy Bebop. Now, I never caught the show back in the day, but I definitely heard of it. Well, first images hit the net to largely positive fan reaction, with the exception of, well, Faye Valentine. Many complaining the outfit depicted strays too far from the original source material. Naturally, being 2021, the actress decided she was going to throw all kinds of shade back at said fans. Hey guys, so as you know, our Cowboy Bebop first look dropped today, which was so exciting. And I just wanted to address a couple of things that sort of keep coming up in the comments amongst fans. First, I wanted to apologize to the fans that I did not anatomically match the Faye Valentine character. Um, six foot, double D size breast, two inch waist. You know, they looked everywhere for that woman and they couldn't find her. It's kind of weird. So they just went with my short ass. I know. And the other thing I wanted to bring up was I wanted to apologize that the outfit I'm wearing is not exactly what she wears in the anime. You know, we tried. Um, but doing stunts in tissue paper, things disappear, they rip. Sometimes it just got me to heal it all. Subtitle, zip it. Anyway, like I was saying, that original costume, uh, they made a couple of them, but like I said, they got sort of slurped up in my various crevices, never to be retrieved again. What's the point of all of this? We needed to really build something that could withstand the test of time. So just, you know. You have some kind of grudge? Grudge? Or you just get your kicks this way? Now, first of all, <laughs> we all know that Netflix is into dialing down a budget or two these days. But if your costume designers design stuff out of tissue paper, well... You're fired! Second, if you're gonna throw shade at someone, make sure you're not standing too close to the sun. Yeah, that sounded a lot better in my head. As it turned out, Danielle has done quite a bit of prancing about in a similar time. One of her previous roles. Doesn't appear to be any issues there. So what's all that about? Ah oh, yes, the old virtue oh, signal. Daniela. Daniela. Remember, you flush it, I flaunt it. It's kind of weird. Yeah, yeah. Just a little. No weirder than the fact that this is Netflix producing this show. And we all know where they stand on the matter of indecent exposure, don't we? Only too well, my boy. Only too well. Recently, we got a look at the forthcoming Matrix 4. And, well, whilst the trailer wowed its fair share of the viewing public, it kind of left a lot of other people feeling underwhelmed. With mixed reactions ranging from being there, seen that, to who are you? With a number of key characters either not returning or being played by someone else entirely. So what? It's quite bizarre. Now don't get me wrong, I definitely think this guy is en route to becoming the next big thing. It's just I miss old Lawrence Fishbone. Burn. Sorry. Not to mention old Agent Smith. No, not. I did turn down Neo. Nobody cares, dude. Nobody now, cares. many have accused the Wachowski siblings as being one-hit wonders. Kind of akin to Milli Vanilli back in the late 80s. Partly because the reaction to the last movie was pretty much... Partly because of this woman. Partly because they haven't done anything of merit since. Don't believe me. Let's have a look. Speed Racer, 2008. Budget, 120 million. Box office, 93 million. Cloud Atlas, 2012. Budget, 100 to 146 million. Box office, 130 million. Jupiter Ascending, 2015. Budget, 176 to 200 million. Box office 183 million. Your ledgers must be dripping, just gushing red. I couldn't be more proud of you. Any way you cut it, this is far from a sure thing. I've got a bad feeling about it. Hey. Quiet. 
is Aquaman, and he just became King of Atlantis. Thank you. Yeah, that was pretty much the collective reaction of the entire internet when, when that trailer dropped. As in, off a cliff. Enough hmm? said. Finally, we have a trailer release for a remake of a much beloved video game, Knights of the Old Republic. But there's a small snag. Oh, what now? One of the writers working on the project is none other than ex Mary Sue scribe Sam Max. But maybe, just maybe, it'll be okay. With Wonder Women, it was really focused on individual women. I was really telling individual stories, and they had help, and there were some cameos here and there, occasionally from nice women, occasionally from jerk dudes. You know how it works out. Like. onesie from H&M. When you have to go to the bathroom, you're in a jam. Pull the thing to the side. Zip. 